everybody, it's Dr. Jason again with sort of part two of our inflammation video. In the first uh, video, we gave you a definition of inflammation, the body's natural response. It's a healing, intelligent response. But we also talked about its connection to not only stubborn weight loss, but to all chronic degenerative disease. So if something's natural and intelligent and purposeful and good, how does that become bad? And I hinted that today we would talk about how something good something that is working in the body becomes chronic and bad. So this is the difference between uh, what's called acute inflammation and chronic uh, inflammation. All right, so here's a great article from Men's Health, right? And it's called Attack of the Immune System. In other words, something that is doing a job now becomes sort of your enemy. Chronic inflammation can wage a silent war. It's very important to know that the examples I gave you before of you getting injured or cut or dog biting you or burning yourself, that's inflammation on the outside that you can see and feel. We're talking about inflammation on the inside, in the brain, Alzheimer's, in the heart, heart disease, in the breast, breast cancer. It's silent, it's hidden. Now there's a way to know if you have this. We'll talk about that in a minute. Chronic inflammation wages a silent war in your body causing weight gain, heart disease, even cancer. Uh, Alzheimer's, like I said, is in the literature now. Over the years, chronic inflammation has become a hot button topic. Researchers now believe the condition can cause most serious illnesses. But beyond serious illnesses, maybe some more subtle ones. So in this article, it's actually uh, written by a medical doctor, and he's saying uh, that he just didn't feel good. And when he had a test done, which we'll talk about in a second, it was a real wake up call. He says, I tell my patients, and, and I do too, but this is him speaking. I tell my patients, you want an immune system that works like a focused laser, right? This is your body's way of killing viruses, bacteria, foreign proteins, and even cancer. But when you have chronic inflammation, the immune system works like a shotgun blast, and you get widespread damage. So a good analogy i hope everybody's watched movies and watched tv where the swat team right that that's like your body those are the good guys they go in to do a job but always 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 in these shows at some point there's somebody it's usually the captain but it's not some random chaotic thing there's somebody that says hold your fire could you imagine in a war or in a situation like that where there was nobody who said hold your fire, and they kept shooting, right? Then, then, then good would have become bad. There'd be innocent people killed, etc. And that's kind of what's happening with your immune system. In small doses, I'm, I'm quoting the, the me medical doctor, in small doses, inflammation is actually good for the body. Just like I said, it helps heal colds. It helps uh, heal broken bones. It helps bring down the fever naturally, right? Any suffering or sickness or harm, your immune system recognizes that you're unwell and dispatches an army of inflammatory cells. It's very complex and complicated, your immune system. And he says here, uh, these cells travel to the injured area and release toxic chemicals. Why would your body do that? To, to fight the invading bacteria or whatever the injury has to be. When the harmful uh, cells are healed or killed, inflammatory cells retreat, okay? And so therefore, the inflammation relaxes and subsides. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes they keep attacking and the body remains in a state of constant stimulation resulting in what? No longer acute, but chronic low-grade inflammation. So what? Well, it's the cause of all disease. So what? <clears throat> the scary part is there are no symptoms. There's no outward signs. Now, you can have arthritis, which is a lot of inflammation. But again, I'm talking about inflammation on the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. The scary part is that there's no telltale symptoms or indicators of chronic inflammation, which is why researchers call it what? Hidden disease. Sometimes they even call it the silent killer. One of the best ways to see if you have this. Now think about this, folks. If it's the cause of all disease and it's silent and now we can measure it. I mean, the technology didn't exist a long time ago, but now we can. If it's lurking in there, wouldn't you want to know if there was an easy, inexpensive, f free, really, when people do blood work, way to check this out, wouldn't you want to? Yes. So, again, this is one of my favorite lines here, because, again, this is, this is a medical doctor. All my heroes, all my mentors in foundational functional medicine are medical doctors, but that's the one medical doctor 
maybe one out of a hundred that understands advanced nutritional correction, right? Most of them don't know this. So, but this is a medical doctor saying, one of the best ways to tell if you have this is to get an HSCRP test. Now, HS stands for high sensitivity, if you're gonna ask your doctor to do this. That's a small distinction, that's what the one you want. CRP stands for cardioreactive protein. Now, this is a general measurement, a general measurement of uh, inflammation in the body, like a global look into the body. They call it systemic inflammation. In other words, the inflammation can be anywhere. So why do they call it cardioreactive protein? And the reason they call it cardio, it's, it's because it's an extremely effective way at looking at heart health. The inflammation doesn't have to be in the heart. It could be, but it could be anywhere, right? So HSCRP test, which, this is my favorite line, while growing in popularity, I mean, to me, it's self-evident. It's the cause of all disease. It's silent. We can do something about it. While growing in popularity is still not commonly administered or even understood by my colleagues. That, 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 excuse me, that part I, I, I can't explain because almost never when a patient comes in and we order this along with very thorough comprehensive blood work, if I have a previous blood work from six months ago or six years ago, I never see CRP. I never see CRP. All right? So CRP is one way of measuring it. Another marker rarely, rarely ordered uh, by medical doctors is homocysteine. There's a distinction between those two for the purpose of this video. We'll go into it a little deeper on our next video. You just need to know that those are basically two inflammation markers. Homocysteine has a lot to do with B12 and B12 absorption, but again, they're both good markers of inflammation. I'm going to go over in our next video some of these numbers and why uh, sometimes if somebody has these labs done, their doctor may say they're okay, but a functional medicine doctor may say they're not okay. But again, overall today's message is there's a difference between the good natural response, acute inflammation, and inflammation out of control. Inflammation out of control is basically the cause, or at least I can say with certainty, a contributing factor to all, all chronic degenerative disease. Certainly ha it has a role in weight loss along with things like toxicity and things like hormones, which by the way, what I just told you, inflammation, toxicity, and hormones, those are, are not really addressed by eating less food, by doing more sit-ups, by taking drugs to help you lose weight. There's plenty of drugs to do that. And certainly, how is toxicity or inflammation or hormones ever altered in a, in a surgical procedure. And yet, eat less, exercise more, drugs and surgery has been the expert advice for 50 years. So we have to go beyond that, even if you're just watching this today, for weight. And I hope you're thinking beyond the weight to your health conditions. The inflammation is critical to understand and to be tested for. In the next short video, I'll just go into it a little bit deeper about the numbers that you're looking for if and when you have this test up. But for now, I hope that's helped, and bye-bye for now. Hey everyone, Dr. Jason again. If you're getting some value from these videos, especially if you're getting a lot of value, then please like this video, send it to people you care about, subscribe to our channel, and most importantly, if you have some comments, if there's things that you'd like to see me answer, some questions or some topics that you haven't seen before, it'd be my personal challenge to help you out. So please leave a comment below. Thank you, and bye-bye for now.